In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called if high salary. So you can see here on the left, we have an employee table. So ID is basically the primary key for our uh, for this table. And then you can, you can see we, saw, we also have a salary column where we uh, basically store or in this case contain information about the salary of an employee. So the question for this problem is that we want to write a SQL query to report the nth high salary from the employee table. So if there is no nth high salary, then the query should return, or I should say report null. Um, so you can see this, the query result format is in the following sample, right? So you can see we have an employee table and the output is going to be 200 because uh, in this case, we want the nth high salary. In this case, n is equal to two. So the second highest salary in this case is basically $200, right? Um, and then you can see here, we also have employee table and uh, here we want the second highest. So in this case, we have to set this to null because the second highest salary is, uh, we, in this case, this table doesn't have the second highest salary. It only has the first highest salary, right? So in this case, let's take a look at how we can be able to solve this problem. So to solve this problem, first, what we need to do is we need to select a salary from our uh, employee table, right? And then we need to also order by descending order. Um, so if we order by descending order, this is what, what the table looks like, right? And then what we can do is we can basically use offset and limit to basically select the nth row. In this case, let's say n is two, then we are selecting the second row. If n is one, then we're selecting the first row, right? Because in this case, if n is one, then we're selecting that the the first highest salary, right? Um, so this is our first step, right? And then what is offset and what is limit? So let's take a look at that. So you can see here on our, uh, in this picture right here, you can see we have our table, right? Um, basically what offset does and limit does is uh, basically offset, we basically skip um, how many rows of data, right? Basically what offset does is that it basically skips and then it takes this number which tells how many rows that we want to offset or how many rows that we want to skip. So you can see here, we're skipping three rows. And what limit does is that we're limiting a number of rows that we need. In this case, you can see here, we're limited to five. So we have five rows. So offset to three, we skip three rows. And then we're taking the next five rows, right? After we offset three rows. So you can see that this is the data that we get, right? So that's exactly what we're trying to do here. Uh, so we're trying to offset n minus one because let's say in this case, uh, n is equal to two, for example, then in this case, we only want to skip one row of data, right? Because we want this row. So we want to know like this basically offset, we want to tell them or tell offset how many rows we wanted to skip, right? In this case, we want to skip one row and then we're taking the next row, which is this one, right? And let's say n is equal to two, right? So, and then we are going to limit to, to one. So we're only selecting this row. Okay. And then at the end, we also need to, you know, distinct, we also need to use distinct because let's say in a situation where, you know, where we have a situation where we have two, 200 salary, right? Then in this case, the second highest will be this one, right? So in this case, if we want to select distinct, so we should have something like this, right? Um, and then we're selecting the, uh, the second highest, which is going to be this one. So like I said, so here you can see basically what I did here is I select distinct salary from employee and we order by salary column in descending order. And then we're going to limit down to one, right? We only want one row of data and only to offset. In this case, you can see we're skipping n rows and n in this case, you can see we set n is equal to n minus one. So let's say n is equal to one then we're basically skipping zero rows, right? If n is equal to two, then we're skipping one rows. If n is equal to three, we're skipping two rows, right? So you can see that this is how we solve this problem.